Hi, this is Mike Kasha, and I'm with Electrical Equipment Company. Thanks for joining me today. Today's topic is Factory Talk Data View by Rockwell Automation. The purpose of this software is to allow you to take the data in your, in your plant and storyboard it or create dashboards, but more than a dashboard, it allows you to do analytics. It allows you to do on-the-fly evaluations of data, drilling down into the data, showing the data in many different ways, helping you to get to root cause, helping, to, helping you to do your job, whether you're in the operations part of the plant, the maintenance part of the plant, quality department, maybe you're the plant manager. Um, all of these facets of uh, in, in a factory all, the data is very important to all the above, and depending on your persona, you need to look at the data in a different way. So this tool helps you do that. Um, the, the essential elements of using this tool is first you have to connect the tool to the data. Very easily, Data View brings data in and creates a dashboard of sorts without you even doing anything. It takes the data, looks at the data, and kind of makes some assumptions and creates a storyboard for you. Then you manipulate that storyboard more for your own taste or your own use. So you don't have to start from scratch and create each little chart um, from the get-go. Uh, it kind of does that for you. The last step, which is the most exciting part about the tool, is that you can analyze the data. And that's what I'm going to focus on today is analyzing the data. A little information about what data view can connect to this is pretty advanced stuff in my view uh, factory talk analytics data view uh, has a connection connectors configuration guide version 3.01 that i'm referencing today um, there's different types of data that we may want to access in the grand scope of things in a, in a factory uh, the most common is a flat file connector which is like excel csv files etc the next one would be very common as well data view or de excuse me database connectors like sql server oracle for example um, maybe more advanced would be considered big data connectors like elastic search or mongodb and next we have the streaming connectors so for streaming data we have these examples that data view is capable of connecting to and lastly we have service connectors so the two sources of data we're going to use today in our demo uh, is number one we're going to use the factory talk analytics for devices appliance that's this appliance right here connected on an ethernet network with ethernet ip devices this device is capable of basically connecting it to the network with no configuration with very little configuration um, it comes up on the network it queries the network it finds all the ethernet ip devices and creates a bunch of action cards or let's say sort of index cards for every device on the network these action cards will profile the device query for any diagnostics it'll look for the health of the device and it gives us a nice uh, diagnostic log. Uh, the device has a lot of capability on its own legs, but what we're going to use it for today is just a source of data. The second thing we're going to use is a very common uh, SCADA package by Rockwell called Factory Talk View Site Edition. And what we're going to focus on is the availability of the alarm log in that SCADA. The alarm log typically would have process alarms, production alarms, uh, things like that, uh, in addition to hardware alarms like the PLC failed or the drive failed. So between the two things, we're really getting a pretty decent picture of a production line. And what we want to do is bring that data into data view and see what kind of analysis we can do. A little deeper dive on the factory talk analytics for devices. This device has a bunch of profiles that support Rockwell products like PLCs, IO, overload relays, like smart overload relays, like the E300 that you might find in a motor control center. Um, then a plethora of 
drive profiles for all, most of the Rockwell PowerFlex drives. We have Ethernet switches. We have smart motor controllers. And the list keeps growing. And in the roadmap, we're also going to start adding instrumentation like Anderson Hauser, uh, mass flow meters, for example. So this is a very exciting device that gives us a lot of diagnostics with very little effort by the user. So now I'd like to switch over my sharing. Okay. <clears throat> Now that we've given you a brief introduction of what we're trying to accomplish today, and now I'm showing you the landing page for the DataView Analytics software. So the first thing I'm going to do is log in as a user. And I've already made the connections needed to illustrate the capabilities um, just to save time because I really want to show you the end result. So what you see here is some example storyboards that have already been created. The first one is factory talk alarms which is the SCADA that we mentioned earlier. So now that the storyboard has painted in, what we see is representation of that alarm log in different ways. We can change how this is displayed. This is not fixed. We can change it initially or after the fact. If we customize this storyboard in any shape or form, we can save the storyboard and use it again, or we can forward it to someone else. Be because each user that's going to look at this would have a different need. Production needs different things than maintenance. Plant management needs different things than all the above. And the beauty of this is you can cross-pollinate uh, points of view and data. So if you look here on this, on this uh, donut chart, we see the alarms for the oven, the packer, the wrapper, cooling, depository, loader, mixer, etc. And we see the alarms. This is the top 10 most frequent alarms displayed in this bar graph. And down below, we see the timing chart of when all of the alarms occurred. And on the left-hand side, we see which piece of equipment contributed to these alarms. So the oven has the most alarms, and here are the times that those alarms occurred so that we can drill into this data. Just for a quick example, what can I do with this now? Because this is a dashboard, but this thing is basically a living uh, display that we can manipulate for our purposes. So let's say I'm really curious about the oven today. I don't want to focus on the other things. So I can click on the oven in the pie chart and click keep only. So now it, it creates the filter to say I'm only interested in the oven. So now you see the donut only represents the oven, and now you see the most frequent alarms only pertain to the oven. And if I remove the filter, I go back to where I was. Again, I can go to the mixer, and I want to look at the mixer alarms. So now I see mixer alarms. The other thing I can do, let me remove that filter. I want to know what the alarms were in the mixer. So I click on the mixer again, and this time I say view data. And now I see all the alarms for the mixer. The other thing I can do is I can on the fly change the representation of this chart. So I can click on the gears, which is uh, the configuration of the chart, and I can say, you know what, this chart is not for me. I'd rather see this in a 3D pie. Now I can save that as the new storyboard and this can be my personal version of the storyboard. So now let's get out of this. Let me show you the second example. Remember we had that 
factory talk analytics device appliance and when we have its alarm data it has a nickname called shelby so i'm going to click on the shelby storyboard now what this is going to be is all the ethernet ip devices that had faults over time had log data into the Shelby device. Now we're pulling that alarm log out and we're going to be able to do an analysis on that data. So down at the bottom, this chart has a dedicated table that shows you all of the faults. Now if I want to narrow down the faults, again, I can use this donut chart and I can see I had, well, two alarms of this kind, one alarm on this PowerFlex 525 drive, and an S have two SMC C faults. Um, over here I have a 1756 fault. Over here I have an analog output card fault. Maybe I'm interested in the PowerFlex fault. So I can click on the PowerFlex, go look at the table, the view data only, and now I can look at that PowerFlex fault. Just like we did in the last example. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.